This is chapter 23 of The Lake. I spend the rest of the day avoiding Kayla and she does the same. Andy sees no reason why we can't have the night off as planned. The inflatable was an accident and the campers are all fine. He said the cops are looking into the ex-counselors, but I know they won't find anything. I'm by the campfire with Tia, Rebecca, Ollie, and Jake. Kayla is getting changed into sweats and meeting us out here. The flames crackle gently as the last of the fire struggles to stay alight. I watch the embers float before disappearing into the air. Ollie nudges my side with his. What's going on? Huh? Nothing. We can tell it's not nothing, you know, Tia says, scooping her long hair over one shoulder. I raise my eyes to hers. I've been distracted, but I'm fine. I'm on my own and have no one to talk to. Kayla has made it clear that she's done with the whole thing and I can't bring anyone else in on this. Mostly I feel horrible for keeping the inflatable tampering a secret. Rebecca twists her hands together like she's trying really damn hard not to voice her opinion. I'm not sure I want to hear it right now. There are more important things I need to worry about, like Kayla. What's happening, Ollie asks. Please tell us. We... I thought we were closer than this, Esme, Rebecca says. Whatever is going on, we can help. Are you homesick? That sounds much better than truth. I'm close to my parents, I say. I missed my nan's birthday. It was last week. Actually, it was two months ago, and I was there at her place. We ordered Mexican food. She drank a lot of tequila and sang 60s songs on her karaoke machine until 3 a.m. I'm sure she won't be angry with you, Tia says. You can always celebrate when you get home. Yeah, I will. Thanks. What do you guys... What do you guys want to do tonight? No walks in the forest? Please go with the subject change. Jake laughs. The next time we go into the forest, I'll find that creep. We don't need to go searching for anyone, Tia says. This town is a bad idea after last time. Does that mean we're not going back? Rebecca asks. Tia smi Tia's smile widens. Not at all. I'm not going back. Are you sure that's it? Ollie asks me while the other three argue about whether we would be crazy to go back into town. Uh-huh. I reply looking at the dimple in his cheek because I can't meet his, meet his eyes. He nods. There's something you're not telling me. There's a lot I'm not telling you, to be honest. No, it's just some things are complicated. I understand that. We haven't known each other for long, but you can talk to me. It's kind of weird being secluded with these 20, 24 with these people 24/7 it feels like i've known them for years it's the oldest it's the oddest feeling ever i can talk to you and i'm grateful for that i say you want to start doing that now ollie asks i really don't ollie thinks i'm a good person and i'd like to keep it that way he would hate me if he found out what i had been involved in maybe he could look past the incident but his opinion would change if he knew i'd lied about it for 10 years I'm freaking out that we were chased and watched, okay? There, you have it. I'm a massive baby. Chuckling, he lowers his face. We're all a little freaked out, even Jake, but he will never admit to it. What the hell is this? Cora's voice isn't particularly loud, but it's, hard, but it's heard clearly by us and by a group of counselors on the dock. She comes running down the porch of the staff cabin holding a piece of paper in one hand and a kitchen knife in the other. I push myself to my feet, feeling gritty sand embedded under my nails. What's wrong? I ask. This was stabbed into the door. The counselors run toward us and we meet a pale Cora. She turns the paper around with shaking hands. It reads, We're going to have some fun. Alert the cops and you'll be done. My heart thuds. I try to take a breath, but it's like breathing through a blanket. That's creepy as hell, Jake says. Jake says, snatching the paper from Cora. Who do you think wrote it? What do you think it means? Could it be one of the kids? Why would kids write that? Is it the stalker in the woods? What do they want? You guys need to calm down. I stand back and listen to the comments flying around me. My head is spinning so fast I'm dizzy. Lillian wants us alone out here. 